Hey everybody, it's Intel Bunny here, and today I am recording for a charity event called Extra Life. Uh, this recording is going to be playing on my channel while I am either taking a break or streaming live with a group called the Derpicons. Um, in the description below will be my charity live link, and along with the link to the Derpicon intro, which is on the Drago Claw channel. And uh, that is also the channel that I will be streaming on some later today. I will also be streaming on my own channel, but that is going to be very late, late, late in the night. So I am trying to fill in some gaps so you guys have stuff that you can see on my channel. And right now I am setting up a new thing of Stardew Valley. And um, this is kind of going away from the normal chaotic games that I have uploaded already, which are Battle Block Theater, uh, Castle Crasher, and Osir the Insult Simulator, which uh, you guys should be able to see sometime today or tomorrow um, during the hours of the live stream event. And hopefully, hopefully, hopefully um, everything goes well and you guys are able to donate, share, and raise you know, money and awareness for a great cause. All the donations will go to uh, the Children's uh, Hospital Network that I have chosen, which for me is the Arkansas Children's Network, um, which we actually have two hospitals now in our state, thankfully, uh, and all through donations and raising money, not through just this event, but many others. Um, one of our locations is located in Springdale, Arkansas, and the other is located in Little Rock, and I actually spent quite a bit of time in and out of the Little Rock Children's Hospital as a child, as you guys know, if you have read the description on my YouTube page here, uh, I am an epileptic, but I also have a heart condition, which turns out uh, seizure disorders and, you know, heart conditions kind of go hand in hand. Um, I do still game. Uh, it is one of my passions. I have not been uploading much to my YouTube channel due to my condition. But that is going to be changing this year since things are slowly starting to level out. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started with the introduction. If you have not seen this game, it's, you know, a remake, I would say, of uh, Harvest Moon from GameCube. And I would put it towards a Another Wonderful Life versus uh, the original. So, without further ado... I will be quiet. Actually, I'll be reading, but... And from a very special granddaughter. I want you to have the sealed envelope. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. When that happens, my dear, you will be ready for this gift. So many years later. In short years. So my the audio of the game is still really high and I will try to adjust that before we get too far into things. But I actually have it turned down to about you know forty-five percent. So I love how I keep it in the dust. Dear Intel Bunny, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connection. 
connections with other people in nature. So I dropped everything and moved to a place I truly belong. I then closed the deed to that place. My pride and joy, the Bun Bun Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This is my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will you? Okay. So this is going to be at a 10. This is, this is 10% volume. So hopefully that will help some. bird. We're the one who broke the bus. Okay. Oh goodness. <laughs> a little overgrown. Okay, so I've turned the vol volume now down to like 5%. It's quaint. Hey, there's someone in my house. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. Small town life. I know it well. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very rustic. Rustic, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Rude! I like Robin. Don't listen to her intel, Bunny. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so you'll buy one of her house upgrades. Yeah. Kinda need them. <laughs> Anyways, you must be tired from your long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in the box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck.
does bug me is I don't plan on touching there or there. So I'm gonna take that one out. water and plant stuff and then go walk around the town and introduce myself. I don't have much in the way of energy to start out with and I don't have much in the way of supplies. this flower and this one so I can get these flowers to people and they like them. Some of the people don't like them, but you know, hey, to each of their own. Not much in the way of energy, but we'll fix that later when I buy a ton of coffee and food. I mainly buy coffee though. And now you can grow it. So I'm going to actually switch to holding something else. Him. He is the local doctor. That is Harvey. That is the bartender. Let's go into the store. Um, I think she's one of the ones that does not mind getting flowers. So. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll sell. I'll also buy products from you for a good price. So let's go ahead and stock up on some seeds. See, I've got 500. Let's get two of those because they plant multiple. I don't have much. Let's take two days. Two of those. So, um, with the rest of it, we will get. Oh, call it. That's full. Okay, um. Sold our uh, that, and we're gonna go up here. So I've got to either do more parsnip or cauliflower. So I'm gonna do cauliflower. I can't do parsnip, and I can't really afford anything else. Oh, there's another person in here. That's Marie. She sells animal goods. Let's see if his wife is in the kitchen. She might be somewhere else in town. She is. And I don't think I actually met the purple terror girl named Abigail. I gave her a gift, but I don't think I actually met her. So I'm not sure if it counted it. So let's go ahead and, uh... Yep, there we go. Now we have officially met her. Oh, there's this, this dude. That's Sam. Local skateboarder. We haven't met her yet. Nice to meet you. 
Um, there's one that sometimes hangs out at the park. Let's go to the park. I usually hang out around the fountain, not here. I usually hang on to flowers just for her because she is the girly girl type that really likes that sort of thing. And I am a people pleaser to some extent. Let's go down here since she wasn't at the park and intrude in her house. There's one of them. I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican House. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Which we might actually find a few people we haven't met there. But there are a few characters that we haven't met yet that are some of my favorite. And if you play this up, here's one of them. Evelyn. Why, hello and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Yeah, it's Granny. We'll, we will call her Granny. Hi, Granny. <laughs> it's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now, buzz off. <laughs> Where's your grandson? Working out with his shirt off. We can see that, but he don't know we can see that. Okay. Not a bad thing, though. It is not bad to be the soft, quiet thing. Let's go back up here so we can go to the saloon. Welcome. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. Well, hello, Gus. It is nice to meet you, sir. You are the provider of coffee until I grow my own. So, uh, definitely will be a friend of mine. Okay, so then let's go over here to the library. Also, I might sneeze, and there might be an alarm going off soon to remind me of something. Oh, and here is the blacksmith. Er, hi, I'm Clint. I kind of made him sound like, uh, Ernie. You know, from Bert and Ernie. But Bert! Oh, there's Abigail again. Alright, we're gonna meet the, uh, guy that doesn't like being interrupted at work. Her. Hey kid, the name's Pam. There he is. Oh. Shane's hard at work. Can't meet him. And then we just get out of here. This is Jojo Mart. I believe that would be just a kick at Walmart right there. Just, you know, Jojo Mart's quite a bit cleaner. I think I've already met you up there. There's his grandson who's working out in the bedroom. Hey, you're the new girl, huh? I think we're gonna get along. Great, I am Alex. Hi, Alex. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you.
And that means I have a couple of alarms that will be going off soon. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. He's the local father. Let's see. This is up here. A stranger. Hello. Yes, indeed, we are a stranger. Didn't mean to startle you. Let's see, there was a noise over this way. Nope. We're just gonna ignore the noise. That's just how that works. Let's go see if her son will escape his uh, basement bedroom. No. No, he won't. He is programming on his computer. So, out of all the ones that I usually go for, um, Harvey is more fitting of my type. Though, a few of the others do help out around a little bit more. Um, you know, it's just however we want to go about doing that, really. It's going to take down this tree if we have the energy. We should. I don't know if we'll have the energy to plant, but I should be able to get enough wood to hopefully get a uh, chest going for us. That way we can hold on to more stuff. Oh, it is getting pretty late. Let's see, do I have enough yet? We need 50. So let's see if we can take down a another tree. We're just gonna drain ourselves and go to bed pretty much. Okay, so that's enough to make ourselves our first chest, which I'm going to have to drop. I'm going to drop this stuff. And I usually place my first chest there, and I'm going to color code it to, let's just do baby pink. And we're going to put our extra stuff in here and leave our seats on us because that is the first thing that we are going to be doing in the morning. Oh, I can pick up that sap now, which we are going to need later on. So let's go ahead and do that and put it up and then go to sleep. I don't have any mail. Okay, cool. And I am playing this with the controller, but I will play mouse and keyboard at times because it is easier to water things. We made a little bit of money. <laughs> Not much, but it it's something. Something's always better than nothing. Advertisement. I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Well, Paris got you covered. Stop by Paris General Store today. Check out the affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon. Hello, just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you. Willie. Willie's the one that Grandpa wanted us to say hi to if he was still alive. slowly start improving our farm over time and I'm hoping during the live stream that I will be able to record more of this for you guys and after the live stream I will uh, attempt to actually get 
this recorded properly, so this will be, you know, something I hope to continue. So let's see. We're just gonna make a line here. And clay is also one of those things that we are gonna have to hold on to. bucket back up. And let's remove some more of these rocks right here by the entrance. We will be planting here later. Let me get more organized. And then we gotta go see Willie. Time we'll walk around and fill our inventory with stuff that we can sell in our little box or to someone. Ahoy there, miss. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet ya. Ah, uh, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. There's a big ol' haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Here. I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the artificial stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. You received a bamboo pole. There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah. My shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> That's what my old poppy used to say, anyway. Well, that's our grandpa's friend right there. Oh, and seagulls. So I'm not actually going to stop in and buy anything right now because I am dead broke. Oh, but there is something here in the sand. Cool. You found an artifact. The curator of the local museum might want to know about this. So let's grab some of this. Because there's a lot of the save item. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we can get 
with that other item that is just sitting there in the sand. And it's a book, so we are going to be going back to the library. And there is the alarm I was talking about, so I'm actually going to have to put things on hold. And that means that this is going to be video one of hopefully a part two, because I actually have to go and prepare for the live stream at this time. So let's see if we can get the library part done real quick, and then back to um, our house to sleep. And the, the curator's gonna be depressed because he's like, eh, not a single thing. I got a book and one item. One item is not to make a museum. What's this? You found something? Let me see it. Remarkable. It's a very old. I love to study this grave detail, but it's yours. Hmm. I've got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating any new artifacts or minerals that you find? We could make groundbreaking discovery together. Oh, and who knows, if you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. Think about it, will you? If you decide to donate, just bring objects to the front desk. Which I'd like to go ahead and do, because I, I gotta go. <laughs> and I just left. My bad. Okay. Donate to the museum. Go ahead and put. That's a little wonky. Or put there. That's it. Okay, and then we'll put our book up. So I think it. There we go. The book's up. And now we're gonna head back to the farm. I'm gonna try to use a little bit more energy and sleep so the game saves and then i will be heading off and hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video and remember that there is a donation link link down in the description below for our extra life and if you could go ahead and open your heart and your wallet to donating to children's hospital um i would surely 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 appreciate it um all the proceeds will be going to my local children's hospital which is the arkansas network Arkansas Children's Network Hospital, and I am I I know I absolutely know that um, they could use every dollar anyone is you know able to donate to this event. Um, I look forward to seeing how much extra life brings in for our local hospital, and it is something that is exciting. And I am sure at the end of this 24-hour live stream. Um, in the recordings and the live stream that um, my friends will be satisfied but also exhausted and I will be right there alongside with them. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed our first start of Stardew Valley and I will hopefully get more of this out to you today and I will see you guys in my live stream. Um, go ahead and leave comments down below. I'm going to leave comments during chats in the live streams. If uh, you see me, I will be playing with the Derpicons, which is the Dragoclaw, uh, and a few others like Space Monkey 9288 and Hyperiosity, you know, along with a handful of others that are going to be volunteering to do live streaming with us. And I am happy to say that I'm enjoying myself thus far recording again, and it is great to be back. So... Thank you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, and please remember to click the links below to get um, information on how to donate to the Arkansas um, Children Hospital Networks. And have a great day, and enjoy the Extra Life 24-hour live streams that are going to be all over YouTube and Twitch. Thank you. Bye-bye.